Jaina versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. You asked for it. Okay, so I'm definitely keeping the mana worm. Um, could be a good idea to keep the ghoul. Like, play mana worm, coin out ghoul, run this into something, dies, this is big. Do I keep the warrior mantle then? I have a lot of good twos, and if I add up the threes, yeah, okay. Maybe I just ping. Okay, that's the three. Okay, that's a curve. Like, one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, even better. I think I wanted. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's really good now. It's a 4 3. It's an injured Blade Master. It's good enough. If you play spell, then it's ooze, otherwise, it's might control tag. Um, there might be some situations where the mind control tech hits involving unleash stuff, but just need the biggest body on the board right now. Or maybe Chugger. Chugger is basically the. Uh... Next turn is Water Elemental. If I can freeze something, I might be able to protect it. Okay. Convince myself to use this. Also, if he has multi shot ready. I can't do anything against multi shot other than not playing anything. Okay, there's the Eddie. Um, if I play it this way, I should be able to hit it with the Warrior Mental next turn and I can protect my ghoul. It's pretty good for this. Especially for this deck because it doesn't have any late game. It's not vulnerable against. Okay, it's vulnerable against this. <laughs> um. Double hit, second water elemental, it seems like. Not a great move, but it's a move. And I have the ogre coming up. These two tra trade very well into this, but the problem is the minion that he plays now. Squire, attend me. Okay, so there might actually be a situation where he can use the mind control tag. Huh. Interesting enough. But not clearing is too suspicious, and I don't want to fall too much behind if something goes horribly wrong. Um, that's four anyways, right? Does it matter? Um, this dies to uh, this dies to explosive shot, regardless. Okay. Just making the math a little bit more awkward. And this doesn't die to explosive shot. No. Oh, there's Unleash. Oh, okay, but no situation where you can actually use the mind control tag. Oh, that's good for him. Killed my, one of my two or three big minions. Oh, wow. That's an awesome move to say that. Um, can play this for free if I play the apprentice. So, hmm. How do we do this? Two, four, seven, freeze. Then I can ping. I want to, to ping, do. so I play one. Wow. All my tame minions again. If you play something big, I'm basically screwed. Engaging TC one 
Would have been frozen anyways. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Could have just frozen this one then, no? Ah, uh, okay. Whoops. If he has a multi shot or something, I'll be so much behind. Especially without flame strike. Oh, come on. Okay, if I would have frozen this. Could I have. No. Play something for me with Divine Shield, please. Oh, God. This guy's stack is insane. Two, five, eight. Or at least it curves out very well. This will be a 4 4. Huh. We'll just die to the Yeti, but. Whatever. I wonder. Give me a quest. Someday I'll be just like you. Uh, this way. Glory to the Sindora. I hope you like my invention. <laughs> okay. This might help if I can kill it somehow, if I draw a fireball. Do I want to spell break it? Um, if I hit this once, this hits here, that's a 2 5. It's a 2 2. If I don't spell break it. Uh, well, if I spell break it, I hit. I probably hit this. It's kind of the same. Uh, that's a mess. <sighs> but I don't need this minion to get card advantage back, and the body is still around. Even if I like the only, the only reason to play the spellbreaker now is to get the body, the four three on the board to kill it. But, we must okay. cleanse the sun. It's so much buff stuff. Oh, amazing. But it di didn't really make a difference. He could have just hit this here and then hit there. I don't know. Let the pain uh, I need so much. Yeah, okay. It didn't make any difference to buff this. I'll just silence this to deny him card draw. Um, yeah, I get a 5 5 out. Your magic shall not and hopefully another minion. The initial plan was to ping this twice, but I don't need the guys out now. This trades into this, and then he might not have the two damage. Multi shot is still bad, another deadly shot is bad. I wonder. So the hope is to get at least a warrior elemental, maybe the second ogre. Drink with me. Oh come on! Stupid pandas today. I'm dropping really low. Death does not <sighs> oh, thank goodness. For the That's not jaw. Stupid turtle. He'll hit here anyways, so can as well just hit this. I'm taking six more damage probably, which puts me down to eight. I just have my annoy about us. Taunt, no heal. Um, of course it hits this one. Why wouldn't it? Okay, well. Means I'm dead. Oh, there's my ogre, but this is four, it's six. There's no way I can come back from here. Well played. 
Well played. Yeah, that's the problem. And not drawing one of my two fireballs was a problem. If I would have had that for the Death Lord in the first place, would have been a lot better. Anti keelbot. Come on. Hop out of the deck. Okay. I think the Sludge Belcher basically won him the game. And the Deadly Shot. Yeah. Pretty good for him. Without a two drop or a one drop. Okay, it got worse. I got like the same curve but with worse cards. Yay. Or at least a two. Hm. Okay, it got a little bit better. Depending on what he has. And get my injured Blightmaster out again. But I lost the last game where I did this, so... Might not be that good. The hope is that he coins out the Eddie and I just kill it. <laughs> uh, this is a problem, though. Well, okay. At least I got four damage in. Magic detected. Uh, if this just was another card, <laughs> not this one. Um, I'll play the ogre next turn, so I can just play these two. I can't even ping this, so there's no need to consider. I could play this, but it just dies then. I can probably play it later some point. <sighs> Mana Worm probably dies for free, but I can cut go through this then. Where shall I oh stay? gosh. Do I fireball this? To protect my snapjaw? Oh, this is really annoying right now. I'll just play the ogre and go ahead. I probably can ping it next turn. Um, might be able to kill the ogre though, but I have a second one. Oh, naturalize. Okay, at least I get two cards. So I can probably pump up the questing later. Okay, that's going to be Firebolt. So, two, five, seven, it seems like. My freezing things are pretty good. Um, three, seven, three, five, uh, well. For the king! Probably have to wait a little bit more. 
I'll have to clear it with hero power. Everything dies to this and hero power. Ogre Ping or Ogre, Ogre Chaga. I kind of want to hold on to the Chaga because I don't want it to die first. And second, it's an inexpensive card, but this might be too greedy for the questing. Um. What to do? What to do? No, I'll need something. He plays something big, then. Yeah, well. If he uses two mana here, I'm okay. That, and he's frozen then, and then I play Warrior Mental. Maybe this one. If he has a wrath, I'm glad that he doesn't do it on this, I guess. We'll see. If he plays an Ironbuck Protector, I'm probably screwed. If he plays a Sunwalker, it would be good. <laughs> yeah, D is okay ish. No, no Mark of the Wild, please. Power of the Wild. Huh. That's interesting. Well, I wanted to ping anyways. So. That's okay for me. Ah, no, I wouldn't. But I can still ping it next turn. Three seven nine. The Ton might be able to protect both my ogre and my questing. The next turn is uh, well I didn't play around my control tag, but <laughs> I will swipe. Well he can't clear the ogre anyways. And then he will be frozen. Hope is that he doesn't have another spell. Whoa, he didn't play any minions this turn. Not even for five. I'm not good if this is I'm not sure if this is good or bad actually. Might be bad. Oh, combo. Uh, if he steals something I have the polymorph. And he didn't play mind control tag last turn, so I'll just assume he doesn't have it. Like, the biggest um, board clear that he could come up with is Spell Power Swipe or Starfall. Which doesn't do too much on this board, especially with a 6-6 on the board now. Oh, Natural Eyes again. It's a bunch of cards for me. Okay, good that I have the Polymorph. Um, seven... 10, 12, uh, that's more than enough. <laughs> wow. How did he get to 7? <laughs> to naturalize. <laughs> well, mm, I guess it's good removal, but... And cheap, but then you need to take advantage out of the um, uh, of the tempo swing. Like, remove it for one and play all the other mana that you have, and then remove something else that your opponent played. Like, your opponent skips turn six by playing the ogre, and then you play naturalize and your own five or six drop, and again. Then you can take advantage out of uh, naturalize. Not this way, I think. Like not naturalize, armor up, pass. <laughs> it's not going to do anything. Um, do I keep a blood knight? Would be good against squires and crusaders. And I'm not sure. Like uh, as a backup too, I might not get a th two drop. Yep. The light's name. Uh. Well, okay. Got a curve. 
Power shield would be bad. Huh. Interesting. I probably would have gone another way, but... The thing is, Sorcerer's Apprentice dies to a wolf. So the worst case next turn would be I kill the wolf and play the apprentice and he plays power shield making this a 1-4 healing me making this a 3-4 <coughs> and then clearing the apprentice making this a 3-1 and then circle making this a 3 like super whatever 5-4 against my 2-3 no, that's too... Okay, I, I can even handle this. Okay. So it should be fine. If he plays power shield and heals me and kills this, um, then I can still kill it here. So it's a two foot... Two basic... Yeah. Okay. And if he circles, I can coin out the stone knight and... The value is still there. Any other scenario looks better for me, actually. Get a 2 for 1 with a zombie chow could be really good. Okay. Um, I'll probably have to coin out the Boulder Fist Ogre because all my other minions are so bad. It's like my 3 drop has more attack than this, uh, than my both my four drops. Yeah, there comes the Eddie. So I'll just fireball it, I guess, and coin out the ogre next turn. There's no need to sacrifice both of these. It would be if I had a flush eating ghoul, or yeah, or cult master, of course. But cult master isn't even in the deck. <coughs> it's tough to get. Get up, uh, like, give up the fireball here. Because I might need it later to burst him down. Okay, this was lucky for me. So the hope is that he doesn't have a death. If he has a death, it will be pretty tough for me. Thanks for the follow, Arkhauser. Welcome to the team. Ready, sir. Um, it's Darwin Knight Sugar. Sugar seems a little bit more scary if you play something really big. Nothing dies to Holy Nova. For the king. He didn't have a death, which is really good for me. These two e even survive mind bo uh, light bomb, light bomb, and I'm still playing around my control tag. Um, it probably won't be a situation where I want to play this. Play more, more. Oh. Always the same. So if I clear this, um, I will just die to a holy nova. But I can get efficient clears here, anyways. I don't want to give him two cards, so I have to hit it here. Hmm. And I can give up on this because it doesn't freeze. And then I play minions that survive a holding over. Which is basically. Snapjaw. Well, if you only know this, you can only play a 3 drop, which should be fine. If it doesn't Dark Cultist. Um, only know Dark Cultist. Uh, and. Bomber's okay. Bomber's totally fine. Do I risk a second Holy Nova? Um, I won't be able to use this anyway, so I don't have to play the Panther. Engaging TC 
What curve are you looking for when you when drafting arena? Um, well, usually something like I don't know eight early game drops and six to eight, maybe nine. Depends on the deck, like five plus cards. Um, it's better. It feels better to pass up by on the early game than a uh, late game than on the early game, but. Hmm. Kinda depends on what the first picks like um, propose. <laughs> Seven nine. I could dump my whole hand. Um, I probably want to make this clear. Otherwise, it could go horribly wrong if he has something that buffs attack, e or maybe a second one. And then I want to establish the warrior middle. And since I have nothing else that dies to a holy nova, uh, I can like safely play this. And I don't think of that I want to develop the the apprentice. Not sure, maybe I should. But I'll have the mana next turn anyways. Seven should be enough to trade in. That's really good. Um and it plays around mind control tag. He kept this card a little bit too long. Um I could have Frostbolt it, but I might need it for something bigger because my board can't deal with the bigger stuff. Like if he plays a Temple of Force again or an Ogre, uh, then I have to give him a 2 for 1. Maybe even this one. So I could play the Ghoul. Could also just hit this here. Ping it. Makes this a 3-4. Three, 3-4 four. Three, four isn't bad. Makes this a 2-3. Yields it up to a 2-5. I can... Hmm. I could also just play this one now. Four is a pretty good attack number. Using this instead of the Frostbolt because the three damage shouldn't matter. And if they matter, I have the three damage in my hand anyways. Doesn't die to Holy Nova's some shenanigans. Why is he keeping this card? I think it is a mind control attack, to be honest. Or it might be a Shadow Word death, but we'll find this out next turn. <clears throat> I'll just kill this. Um... I think I don't want to reveal the drake because of my control tag. If he plays something, I can just play these together for four here. Um, if he doesn't clear anything, six, ten. Yeah, there might be a good reason to play this because if this is a shadow or death and whatever, uh, well, whatever. I should, I should have this. Is someone injured? Okay. A ah, circle, okay. Well, then I should have played the drake. Special delivery. Oh, of course. The best minion. Bring me steel. Okay. So I'll clear this mess and then it should be over. Mana worm. Okay, the, the chance that he top decks a mind control tech is pretty low, I suppose. Polymorph if, he, if something goes horribly wrong, that's pretty good. Um, uh, this, this, this. This is the only minion that dies to a holding over. Uh, these two survive a light bomb. Um, yeah, yeah, you gotta be me. Okay, 7, 10, 12, 13, 14. Oh. oh, that's pretty good for me. Hey. 
don't have to do the math, I can just look it up. Three is too much. Go away. Probably won't come up with an iron buck protector, so it should be it. Even if he had an iron buck protector. Okay, another mage. Tear you apart. Mm, this two week is on three, especially without coin. Keeping the chugger, of course. Uh, well, that's better than a fireball, probably now. But oh, that's good. I just need something to play on two or three. Maybe a frostbolt, or well, basically any two or three drop. Even Mirror Entity, if the if the Mana Worm stays on the board, then Mirror Entity would be really good. Uh, I can't ping this, that's annoying. Do I play the Chow? I can Chow ping next turn. Sugar dies to this one for free. Oh, this... Oh, well, whatever. You can just play a 2-drop, so maybe you can get some value, I don't know. Um... Yeah, if this mana one was the Chow in the first place, would have been so much better. What, really? Wow. Interesting. That's cool. <laughs> Could make value out of it. Or use. Um. <sighs> ta -ta 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 -ta. I probably want to ping this instead of playing the ooze. Then he runs this into that. If he plays another death rattle, pretty bad, I guess. I could also hit ping. Play Chow. Hit play. Oh, it seems good. Could also ping this and this next turn. Yeah, seems even better. Uh, as long as he doesn't play a death rattle, of course, but I guess he won't have another one. If he, if he plays a harvest golem now, that's... <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have killed this one. Now that I think about it. I mean, we're at nine wins? Okay, so that's pretty good for me. Um... I think I can afford to let this stay around. Just play Warrior Elemental Hid and getting Chow value. The return of his ping and play the Ooze, which is kind of weak on the board right now. If he has a Frostbolt for this, then plays his 2 drop into this. Should be fine. Dorgon, what are the best classes for Arena currently? Um, I don't really know. I, I did. I do pretty well with all of them. I, I don't like Warrior that much, at least for now, because the Ogre Walmall betrayed me a few times. <laughs> um, Mage is probably still considered to be on the top, because um, it has the most good common cards. Same for probably Cap Paladin. Um, I think they are closer together now, after the expansion. Um, what comes then? Rogue, Priest, Shaman, yeah, something like that. It's so annoying that I can't ping it. <laughs> uh, I'll probably just play the Warlord, sacrifice my Chow and freeze the truck thing. Is it even good to freeze the... Hmm. Could also play the Annoyotron. I could kill this and play the Annoyatron. 
Together with Panther before the Flame Strike hits. Set up for a Warlord next turn. Seems better. Um, should have played it. Like, change places for kind of cold reasons. It's a pretty weak board to, cone of cold, to use Cone of Cold on, but you never know. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Double whoops. This dies to a blizzard, this doesn't. Um, I think I want to keep the water elemental around. If you play something with five health, um, this might actually this decision might matter a lot now. But I think I want to sacrifice this rather than the water elemental. The freeze utility is pretty good, and it has one more health, so it survives a blizzard, for example, or a meta bomber. There's a higher chance of surviving a meta bomber, I should say. Ah, uh, well. Better chance, better chance isn't gonna cut it. It seems like. Um, okay, so I'll just do it this way. Being greedy here. Um, if he has a flame strike, then this drew me a card. Um, this survives and still can kill this one. And the sunfear is the only thing that dies. If he doesn't have it like this, then I can just make this trade here. Or he has to do it. You'll see. I'll be just like you. Okay, he does it. Good for me. Um, flesh eating hit. No. Uh, yeah, flame strike is still a thing. Kept this card for a long time. Maybe he didn't want to play it because 6-1 uh, would have still been around. Um, I don't really have a way to check it though. I can't really play around it because I have to damage this anyways. Otherwise the apprentice stays around. If he has it... No, well, whatever. How do I do this now? Don't want this to die. Eh, well, it dies to Frostbolt Ping, anyways. I got this. So I can as well keep my Sampir around. If he has Flame Strike, his, his two cards against my two that are pretty weak. Uh, power Skullum. Okay, that's good. Still has this one. Wonder what it is. Might be a pyro. Might be uh, mind control tech again. I don't know. Um, six. How much damage do I have? Eleven, thirteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, this should be enough, right? Um, yeah, I guess it is. I can play Fireball Ping next turn. And if he plays something obscure like a Mind Control Tech anti killbot or gets something crazy out of the portal, then I can still save the Fireball here. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Oh wow, so much chat activity. Uh, Dorgan, are you sure that Rogue is good in Arena? In Constructed, feels pretty bad. Well, it's not pretty bad. 
Um, there ha have been some miracle builds that are actually pretty good, but overall, Rogue is one of the weaker constructed classes, but it's still a powerful tempo class with all the cards like um, Backstab and Eviscerates and stuff. It um, can get really good value going. Um, also, how's it called? The Ringleader? Defy's Ringleader? Yeah. Jaina versus so there are a lot of good tempo and value cards, but I haven't seen it much around lately, so uh, I don't know what my last Rogue run was. Nine wins, I think. Not sure. Ten wins, maybe. Um, still better than it still serves me better than Moria. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Um, if this was a water elemental, I would probably keep it, but I just hope that it doesn't show up again. Um, that's too light, and that's... It's considerable, actually, with uh, coin. Hmm. I don't know. Dorgan, you have to be the most... You have to be the most educational Hearthstone streamer out there. Oh, thanks. I'm not sure if this is true, but thanks anyways. Um, do I keep the questing adventurer? Um, if I get another two, I would probably coin it out. Ah, well, okay. Let's just keep it. Okay. So there's the scenario where I actually would like to keep coin out these chugger, but it doesn't really seem to accomplish something. Like, I can coin out the chugger and ping this away next turn and run it into whatever he plays. Um, the other play is pass Chugga next turn. He plays a 2-drop. Um, and play Flash Eating, run it into his 2-drop. Then I have the Flash Eating going for me. Or I do something crazy with... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to pass turn because of the questing adventure and the coin. Because I was so stupid in keeping this. Um, should be fine too, anyways. Something was wrong, I can't play the sugar into... Where is the Blast Mage, by the way? I haven't seen it in the last couple of games. Uh, I always see the sugar, but I don't see the Blast Mage. The combo! <laughs> Bring me steel. Hmm, okay. So this will be a 2-3 next turn, a uh, 3-1 next turn, uh, oh boy. So I play the Chugan now, uh, he runs everything face, this will be a 3-1. Then I'm really inclined on to ping it, right? Um, I also want to ping this, hmm. maybe I, I'll just spellbreak it, denying him the random beast also. Okay, let's uh do. Maybe coin spellbreaker next turn. Um he might also just run both into it. But uh, this seems kinda excessive. Depends on his hand though. If he doesn't have something to play, he might want to have the random beast, I don't know. Dorgan, I've learned a lot from you. Like, piloting cards can pilot other piloting pilots. <laughs> yep, this can happen. Oh, the raid leader. Didn't expect this one. So that's... Uh... Okay, so I have to coin out the warrior elemental. Yeah. Warrior elemental is pretty good on this board. So what would have been different if I would coin out the chugger? Um, he would have played this guy, and I could have pinged the web spinner and hit it, and yeah, would have been a lot better. And the Warrior Elemental can make up for it, though, but... Yeah, coining out the, the Chugga would have been a lot better. Even coining out ping would have been okay, but... Uh. Oh, uh, so much buff stuff. Does he trade... Does he have another tech buff somewhere? So he can deal 4 and 2. <laughs> okay. 
He doesn't. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, we're at nine wins. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing. So, um, I su I suspect him to have a deck that is actually like will overrun me in a few turns. So I should try to stop him. The problem is that I don't have another two drop. Ping a two drop would have would be so much better than ping pass. <laughs> um. Need to get rid of this and of this, of course. So maybe Spellbreaker, though. Like, Spellbreak this. Uh, that's still a 3 1 then. Hmm. And he has. Wo wow, there's so much stuff. Um. I should have coined out the stupid two drop. <laughs> okay. That's six, nine, minus three, six, eleven. Uh, six, eight damage next turn. Um. The Myrtle can still just trade into my stuff. Your magic shall not save you. I need a board. If I just ping, he just runs these guys, or just this and this, and, and yeah, well. Need to get rid of his board somehow. But I suspect him just to go face for the next couple of turns, which will be hard to come by because I don't have any taunts other than the annoy about. Okay. He actually trades, that's good for me. The 1 3 isn't too scary, so I hope that he has a weak turn now. Or play something really big that it. Uh, it's kinda in between now. Uh. Hmm. And my curve is so awkward. I can just play one of these cards or ping something, but. I can't even play Storm Night Ping or something. Uh, I wonder. So one of his cards is a web spinner card. One is the card that he just drew and didn't play, and one is the card that he will draw. That's four five damage incoming. It's not too scary. But it's a little bit scary. I if I just play the Storm Knight, run into this. It's a two four. He hits it. This is a four. Still have to get rid of this stuff somehow. Playing the questing doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. Hmm. Blood Knight. Blood Knight could set up like. Ping this now, then I can hit this next turn. If he clears Shear, I can ping this away. Uh. Wow. This is super weak. Fireball, this is debatable, but. Please him with a board, and then he plays something even scarier next turn. Like this. Oh shit. I'll take 8 damage from this if I don't find a poly, or at least, I don't know, a frostbolt. Oh shit, a sea giant. I think that's it, boys. Um. Okay, so I can ping this. I take 10 damage next turn. It's pretty much given. Can reduce it to 9, which puts me at 7. Then I hope that the Stormwind Knight survives somehow and I can hit this and fireball. Then I have 3 mana. Play the Flesh Eating, make it big and. Uh, hmm. 
Azure doesn't do anything. Questing this doesn't. Uh. Okay, so my only hope to win, to actually win this game, is this move. So I'll take probably 11 damage even, and then I don't know. If you can kill this without in uh, without damaging the sea giant, oh boy. Or protected behind a taunt. Okay, I'm dead anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Um, is there something that I can drop? I don't think so. I'm dead in two turns anyways. I can't kill him in two turns. I think it all comes down to not coining out the snow sugar. God damn it. Show him who's boss, fireball face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's over. <laughs> okay, review. Um pretty much as expected I'd say. Um Deck had like uh, okay, let's see what 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 games did we lose? Um Wow, my tracker is fucked up. It says I lost six games with this particular arena. Uh well I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see. Um okay this is better. Ah yeah, I lost the yeah, okay, I lost the I lost the Druid game where we both blew up. Okay, so I lost the first game to a mage. Uh, I think that's where the top decking wars, where I just had no late game to compete and just drew all my garbage late. Um, second loss was also to a hunter. Really? Yeah, hunters were too, too fast for this deck. I didn't have anything to catch up. I didn't have flame strike, and I also didn't have cards like a Testingo, like a Fan Creeper, like uh, every good taunt, Sunwalker. Not even a lot of the arena for, for the end game, so it kinda was as expected. I could fall down in the early game if I didn't draw like um Zombie Chow or Frostbolt early. I think Frostbolt didn't show up in this particular game. I didn't have a second two drop also. Um I think yeah, I got the sugar into blast mage combo once. Yay. <laughs> um mini quality was good, like expected. Um uh, the three drop is a little bit weak. The three slot. Um, overall, a little bit too um, too little late game and too little catch up mechanisms. Um, in the case I face a hunter and fall behind, that's basically it. Otherwise, pretty good curve. Um, un well, until here, <laughs> and pretty. Okay, minion quality also. Some good mage cards, three water elementals, two fireballs. Probably above average. And I should have coined out the sugar. Yep. Okay, stop talking and look at the game. I mean, chat. <laughs> Um, so why should I look at the chat actually? Is there... <laughs> okay, yeah. George Washington didn't say it's over boys, but... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, I feel like I always get... A lot of times I get class cards from the classes that I actually play. Uh, 
Okay, let's see what's it. No, I think we can... I gathered some gold. I think we can afford just to buy more packs, right? Um, how much is it? I'll put the arena thing in here. Yeah, Kim, we can afford five packs. So, it's a big pack opening, guys. Before I let you go into the weekend. I think nothing that I didn't have so far. Oops. Two rares. Uh, I think I didn't have this so far. Don't think how value, uh, how viable Mech Warrior is though. Oh, an epic, nice. <laughs> okay, that's not a nice... Why is this an epic? <laughs> to add more weak stuff to the epic slot. <laughs> and a target dummy. There's again. Uh, okay. Sorry, nothing spectacular. Maybe in the last one? Oh, an epic again, nice. And. I feel like I got a lot of anti kill bots too. I think I have two of this already. Hmm. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, sorry for the for the ones who came late. And um, I'll not stream over the weekend I'm, I'm anymore. Like, this is weekend, but... Uh, because t t tomorrow is stacked and I'm going to see the third Hobbit. Yay! <laughs> so, for those who I don't see anymore, I wish you Merry Christmas and for all the others, um, see you around next time. Thanks for tuning in and bye-bye.